Recently, Chief Fortune Charumbira confirmed that the Gukurahundi Community Outreach Program is indeed an initiative by President Manangagwa. This announcement was made at the Bulawayo State House, a place that holds significant historical weight. Gukurahundi is a dark chapter in Zimbabwe's history. From 1983 to 1987, a series of military operations against perceived dissidents in the Matabeliland and Midlands provinces led to the deaths of up to 20,000 civilians. It's a painful scar that still lingers in the hearts of many Zimbabweans. Now, President Menangagwa's involvement in addressing this tragedy has raised eyebrows, and for good reason. Political commentator Brighton Mutabuka is one of the vocal critics of this initiative. He argues that having Menangagwa at the helm undermines the credibility of the process. Mutabuka stresses the importance of justice, healing, and support for the victims and their families. He believes that true reconciliation can only be achieved through a transparent and impartial process, one that isn't influenced by political agendas. The Gukurahundi Community Outreach Program aims to engage with communities affected by the massacres, seeking their input on how best to address the injustices of the past. This includes discussions on exhumations, reburials, and memorialization of the victims. But the question remains, can this initiative truly deliver justice and healing? Critics like Mutabuka argue that for a process of this magnitude to be credible, it must be led by an independent body. They fear that Manangagwa's involvement might lead to bias, thus failing to address the root causes and consequences of Gukura Hundi. On the other hand, supporters of the initiative believe that Manangagwa's leadership could bring about long-needed closure. They argue that his direct involvement demonstrates a commitment to addressing the past and moving forward as a nation. What are your thoughts on this initiative? Do you believe that President Menangagwa can lead a credible and impartial process? Or do you think an independent body would be more suitable for handling such a sensitive issue? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care.